I was inquiring. Yeah. I know a lot of people. Is Thor Parker your real name? It really is. It That's really true. is. Thor. What makes Midtown Palace above the rest? Why would you Well, we're on the second floor. Well, it just, uh, we try to make the store very friendly to longtime comic book fans and people that never even picked up a comic before. So we have to carry a lot of things that aren't just comic book related, they just like pop culture uh, items and things like that. So pretty much if you're young or into TV shows or comic books or movies or anything, you're probably going to find something. Cool. And I know, like, um, the vlog is all about, like, the Blue 52. Mm -hmm. And I have some friends that have actually mentioned that they like coming here for them because yeah. most of the comic book stores in the city like run out of them. You guys are always well. The benefit of being one of the biggest stores in America is that we have the ability to order lots of copies of these things. Right. So most stores might sell out a little quicker than we do. Uh, that's something we definitely take pride in. Yeah, definitely. That's pretty sweet. So what promotions um, you guys have going on right now? I saw via your Facebook website you have like these grab bags and stuff Yeah, we do grab bags on our website and we also uh, have a monthly book club where we have an artist or writer come in and talk to our book club right. about a book that they wrote or drew. Um, we do signings here all the time and pretty much have weekly sales oh, on our cool. website so there's always something happening here. Oh yeah, I was going to actually come in costume today. Oh yeah. <laughs> we, had, we had a uh, costume contest for Halloween where we we invited our customers to come in and we took your picture oh, and then we posted it on Facebook and let people vote for the winner. Right, so right. That, was, that was a lot of fun too. We had a lot of people coming in costume. So for the holidays, what would you recommend for anyone that would come into your school? Um, I would recommend a good book because it's something they sit down and really enjoy and hopefully it, it, you're, it, it, you know, it can grab you and really get you into this whole world of comics right. for people that haven't really started reading. Right. I actually have a question about the new 52. Okay. Um, a friend and I were discussing like the elements of the world between like Superman, you know, being the first superhero, uh -huh. and Batman. How do you feel about uh, like Batman's story being more like the other characters in his comic series? Yeah. Have? Like, do you think that the writers are gonna eventually? Um, uh, it's hard to say. Superman was a really uh, dramatic change how right. it was Batman and Green Lantern, they had a little more subtle changes. The writer of Batman, uh, Scott Snyder actually, he's mentioned before that he had this Batman story written before they, they talked about doing a, a whole new universe, so they still said, oh well it still fits in because you're still introducing right. these characters and things like that. So he didn't really have much to change from an original universe story to a new 52 story. Um, I think where you're really going to see uh, benefits of the new universe is in the Justice League book because that's where Batman is just meeting Superman and everyone sort of right. just feeling each other out and kind of getting an idea of what their powers are and what they're into. That's like cool. in, in the newest issue of Justice League, uh, someone mentions that, you know, Batman's giving orders he's like, you know how and then Green Lantern says that and then Flash says, I thought you were a vampire. Right, so it was right. like half of them don't even know what the others can do. So. Uh, to really see the effects of the new 52 universe on the main characters of Justice League is the book to read. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe I'll you have to show yeah. to me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I heard that um, you guys have a Capcom like. Yeah, we're having a uh, Marvel vs. Capcom tournament for the new game that I think came out this week. And we're having it this Saturday. So it's a free tournament to enter where everyone will sit down and play each other and then. Uh, Bracket systems like you cry right. and finally That's last so two cool. people will square off and yeah exactly oh, yeah yeah exactly um, that's what that's really exciting customers and fans just to keep everybody excited about this stuff because with digital comics uh, being so popular and Facebook and Twitter um, it's really easy to become a fan of these things but never leave your house and you're really missing out on more than half the experience of what it's like to be a fan to interact with other people. Conversations with people in real life and you know, build friendships, and that's one of the things that you try to do as well. Alright, well, I have to ask this question for my brother. I don't know, do you guys carry um, video game like guys? Uh, no, we don't normally carry video game guys. We have lots of books based on yeah, video yeah. games and things like that. Skyrim. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> that, that's the 
that's, that's probably more like oh, a yeah, GameStop sort of <laughs> thing. GameStop, no, we're in Midtown Comics. Exactly.